this segment, we're going to talk about wood blocks and temple blocks. When selecting wood blocks, it's important to remember that although synthetic or plastic blocks are available and maybe slightly more durable, they're not really a suitable substitute. The sound is, is not quite the same quality as a true wood block. You're probably going to want to have several different sizes of wood block so that you can have different sound choices available and also because certain music will call for more than one size of wood block. It's important to remember that a temple block is not a suitable substitute to, for a wood block. They're not the same instrument. All wood blocks have a slit, which is what produces the characteristic resonant sound of the instrument. You always want to make sure that the slit is facing out towards the audience and the conductor. All wood blocks also have a sweet spot, just like all other percussion instruments. That's a spot where you want to strike the instrument, where you're going to get the best sound out of it. On most wood blocks, it's going to be towards the center, obviously over the resonating slit, not on this side of the instrument. If you play too close to the edge or too close to the back of the instrument, then you get a, a dead sound that you probably don't want. Now, ideally, you want to hold the wood block while you're playing it, just like I've been doing. This way, the sound is going to project over the band or the orchestra that you're playing with. But if you're playing music that requires you to play on more than one wood block or to play something that's too fast to play with one mallet, you can set the wood blocks on a table. Just make sure that the table has some sort of towel or padding so that you eliminate any extraneous sound. When selecting mallets for your wood blocks, generally go for something that's either a poly or a rubber, certainly something that's softer than the wood itself, otherwise it's likely that you're going to damage the instrument. The M130 and the M132 are both great wood block mallets. Sometimes smaller wood blocks require slightly harder mallets. The M132 works great on this block. But occasionally you may need something that's uh, a little bit more of a special sound, something that's really piercing. The M140 gets a good sound on this block, but you have to be very careful that you don't play too loud. In fact, you don't really need to because this mallet's hard enough that you get a loud sound without playing very hard at all. Temple blocks, like wood blocks, also have a sweet spot where they sound the best. Again, it's going to be in the center of the instrument, over the slit, so you get that nice resonant sound. Also like wood blocks, temple blocks are available in a synthetic or a plastic. And while they're more durable, again, the sound isn't the, isn't the quality that you're looking for. You want a, a true wood temple block. With wood blocks and temple blocks, just like with any other percussion instrument, you want to make sure that you're using your ear when you're selecting the instrument and when you're selecting the mallets to get the best sound possible for the music that you're playing.